and apply the one coat of the bay gel and cure for 10 seconds hey instagram fam hello thank you so much thank you everyone for tuning in and welcome to Glee's Assessment Such Live Tutorials and Happy Friday. Hope y'all having a fabulous Friday and productive Friday. So 10 seconds for that nails and we are going to apply some of the um beautiful is uh velvety gel. So I'm gonna using sky bling and lemonades on this one. I love this, is is absolutely a gorgeous. You gotta see this one in person. Because it's like a three dimensional and it's super a beautiful glitter, but it's different than any other glitters you might see in it. So I'm not getting a smaller using the um velvety gels dual brush. Those who wants will have spatula, so yeah, you can able to pick up your velvety gels easy. And the other end is is your brush. So then you can definitely is manipulating and control your velvety gels so much easy. So I'm gonna you, you pick it just like really a good amount, not too much, because we are going to um use it with the ombre using a lemonade and ombre it. So I am going to remove the excess and make sure you close the leads. And now with this, you don't have to work with any other solutions. Only solution you need is your bay gels and I drop one drop of the bay gels. I added more as I are working on the nails. Like if you are doing five nails, you are going to add uh, more or 10 nails. You are going to add more. You don't have to um, um, saturate it with the beige gel. Beige gel basically just does what it does. Purpose of it, it going to manipulating it. And it's easy for you to sculpting your velvety gel without is breaking like down your products. Um, and as you see, is already set level so well. So when you, by the time you're placing your beads, smaller beads on, is already really like a set level for pretty much for you. And all you need to do is using your velvety gel brush and just guide it in the center of the nail to keep it really nice and um, precise, nice instead of feeling like bulky on both sides of the nail. So now I'm going to flash gear really quick for 30 seconds. Okay, and then we are going to go right into the eliminate. So also, during the time that you are doing it on by, just in case you want any of the charms that I did it, like a while, if you're seeing that I did it before, you are more than welcome. You can add a lot of different cute things in there as you prefer um this one you can definitely add a lot of cute things on um we have it's super cute it's whimsicals here for the um this month sub box and it has a lot of elements a lot of crystal in there definitely is has everything i would ask for so now i am a go ahead and pick up a small amounts of smaller beads of the uh lemonades and keep in mind if you needed it's more absolutely can add more you can add them at more on the nails as you walk along and i would not stirring the velvety gels as is going to create a lot of you know like air pockets and it's going to create this bubble when you're working with this all right it's not like liquid and powder and the powder that you have to mix the pigment all right so i'm not using the spatulas from the dual brush and kind of guiding my velvety gels along with the ombre you kind of see that is already like turned out it's really cool so now let me close it you see i'm gonna doing like five nails and then close it to make sure that they are not going so now i'm submerging 
my uh, bristle into the bay gels. A little first come on nowhere. And tuck it in closer to the cuticles to the make sure that I get all of the cuticles area and then without flooding it with the velvety gels. And again, velvety gel is really, really easy to manipulating and then it's not like a runny and um salt level really fast so is this salt level as you work along with this but it's not running everywhere so it's just great to work with when you even like a start and then you have pretty much a good time for you to um manipulating it and design the way you want it in all right so i'm gonna use just the belly of the bristles and i just submerging submerging my bristle in the bay gel just a little bit and like gently blend it so now as i said earlier if you want to add any of the um flowers any like i would think should i do some cute flowers because i'm so tempting but now if you don't want anything just in case you don't want anything do not add anything on if you want just like it is just leave it alone and then you can cap it with some um, crystal clear and you're good to go but i just saw the cutie like kind of cute frame flowers here so i'm just gonna show so now if you want it you can definitely add some cute frame on it i just saw that here now it's just like this is beyond me okay i have the frame here but i have the cute flowers i just saw, saw it earlier no worry about and this is found in the um this is in the Trigger, trigger box but you can get like so many frame and so many um extra beads and frame from one of our newest crystals over right here that's all I'm talking about. I saw that. I remember I saw that. So now if you want any of the uh, charms encapsulated, it's a great time to do it now. It's a great thing about this if you are um, watching me with all different episodes, different tutorials. You see some of the videos that I did with liquid can powder. You kind of like have to move your hands really fast um, to accommodate the uh, setting time of your liquid and powder um unlike that velvety gel you have a pretty much a good time frame for you to um work with encapsulate as well as with the um other designs if you want to encapsulate it's not going to set or dry anything until you are going to key it so you kind of have a time like to um you know take time and pick up some designs and also it's salt level but it's not like just like running everywhere that you freak you out then you have to like oh my god oh my god i gotta get going and get fast but it doesn't mean that you're gonna take forever it won't take forever but it's give you a lot of cute like ideas and attempts why in the meantime you are going to adding some encapsulate you can do like a metal frame you can do you can do metal frame and you can do like um ah mika on twitch there you go sorry mika the salon looks gorgeous I can't wait to see it tomorrow. Thank you so much for the hard work. All right, so I'm having so much fun with this. You can add more as you go. 
Uh, I'm going to add some beads on it. Oh, I found another flowers. Right there. Look, I've been like kind of a... Cover some of the um, ombre. But that is just for the preference. Like for a lot of you was like... If yourself or your clients love dramatics, like a lot of cutie stuff, um, then you can add more in. Okay, I'm gonna add some beads on. And then before we are going to cap it with the crystal clear velvety gel, I am going to give it like really quick flash gear. And then we can cap it. Uh, make sure they are staying really nice and secure. Tape on the side. All right, I'm going, oh, where am I? All right, here for 30 seconds. 